Hurry up. Stop hiding him. <laughs> And as we said at the top of the show, we have a very exciting guest mm-hmm. with us in the studio today. Usually it's just Ali and I and good old producer Dennis, but we have <laughs> an amazing guest with us, mm-hmm. singer, songwriter, actress, actress um, entrepreneur, yeah. Samantha Jade. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I yeah. sound great after that intro. <laughs> well, well, thank you very much. It's all true. Coming. It's yeah. all true. <laughs> thank you. You're a very busy girl. Yes, I am. I am yeah. very busy because um, obviously tomorrow is a very big day. Yes. yes. So very Samantha's exciting. single bounce is coming out tomorrow, oh my God. which is very yeah. exciting. It must be. How do you feel? Oh, I'm excited and nervous. And yeah, yeah it's weird because, you know, you work on something for so long mm. and you've had it for, you know, months. Yeah. And then when it's about to come out, you're like, oh my gosh, it's actually <gasps> happening. Like yeah. the day, it's like your birthday, you know, or yeah. Christmas. You're yeah. like, it's here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> do, well, will you, you get any nervous? sleep? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. I think I, I think I will just because I think I'll be celebrating with maybe a little rosé mm-hmm. yeah. mm-hmm. so that'll good help girl. me sleep. Good girl, good yeah. girl, yeah. <laughs> a Friday release date's perfect for that then. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's why they do them on Fridays, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you decide what you're doing as the single? Because yeah. you write so much music, that must be really hard to totally. decide what's coming yeah. out first. It's so hard. That That's one of the hardest decisions, especially when it comes to album, mm. just, you know, choosing which songs mm. make it. Because obviously when you are writing these songs and mm. – um, sitting in the room for the production and all of that, you're married to these songs oh, you're in so different connected. ways. Yeah. yeah, so it is tough to decide. So, I mean, it's a it's a consecutive decision between the label and management and myself. Yeah. So everyone has their little pointers mm. and then we kind of try and come to a happy hey, decision. Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah, but it must be like your babies you know, oh, to it decide yeah. on the favourite one. Oh, it, it's hard because you, like, love every song for a different reason as yeah. well. So, yeah. yeah. How many didn't make the cut? Well, a few. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think as well, you know, it comes down to, especially for album, concept is a really uh-huh. big thing. You can't have all the songs being about the exact same thing. So mm-hmm. that's, you know, you, you've got to figure out what you want to say. Yes. And, um, you know, how many ballads are going to make it and mm. how many up tempos mm. and, yeah, it's it's tough. It's it yeah. takes a while and you've got to keep listening and going, you know what, actually that's not my favourite, yeah. that is. And yeah. I'm yeah. sure it would take a while. And we've mm. had a little sneaky listen of Bounce as well yeah. and it's really fun. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, it is yeah fun. so it's a kind of a bit more like R&B than you have done before. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, it is. And it pop is, you know, these days it sits under so many different, you know, umbrellas. Mm-hmm. There's there's so many different influences and I think with this it's going back to the, the songs I was influenced by like kind of oh, coming up cool. and I love Brandy and yes, I love yes. like J-Lo and Destiny's yep. Child. Oh, this is great. This yeah. is our that? anthems. Yeah, right? Yep, yep, yep. right. And yeah. so those were my songs. Mm. And so those when I first got signed to the, uh, to a label in the States when I was 15, wow. those yeah. were the songs I was, you know, kind Feeling. of referring to. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so I wanted to go back to that this time around. Yeah. So for me it feels really natural. Yeah, authentic. And, and authentic. Yeah. yeah. That is so exciting. That's so cool. So you, I mean, how long have you been working on it all? This record, I mean, I started writing it in January. Okay. But I think with, um, you know, with albums and, mm. and for, you know, original music, yeah. anytime I get like an idea or a concept or anything like that, I mm. write it in my phone. Good. So when it got to January – I actually had like all of these notes. Oh, that's with so great. All, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so weird. I've yeah. actually got all these great concepts yeah. in my phone and all, mm. you know, voice notes for melodies that mm. you bring back. So, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Well, I, do, I do that, but with random thoughts and then I can't decipher what they are <laughs> yeah. later on. I'm like, what did I mean? Yeah, you're like, what was that? that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's good that you made sense of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> if you don't write down, I mean, I would forget. So it's good that you had it all there. Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of like a cheat sheet in a way. Like, it really is. Because then when you go, Going into a studio and you're like, you know, what do I want to write about mm. today? You go back and think, oh, that's right. That happened that day. Yeah. And I can go back to that place. Tap, tap back into it. Yeah. Very so cool. what is the overall message as you were saying, all the concepts and yeah, yeah, tell us about it. There's a few, for the album, it's a little bit um, diverse because obviously it's kind of, you know, you, you go through so much in life and mm. there are so many places to pull from. Yeah. Um, but this record, especially because of the whole like 360 with me going back to the sound back that I started. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah. it's it's kind of a little bit about that journey. So cool. there's a lot of songs about love, obviously, yeah. but there's a lot of songs <laughs> about heartbreak because mm. this industry has been a tough and there's been a lot of heartbreak totally. for me in this industry. Yeah, yeah. So I think that I, um, for the first time, was really honest about that. That's awesome. Yeah, which was really um, weird. Because oh, well, you'd be feeling really vulnerable. Yeah, it was so scary. vulnerable. Yeah. It was scary. and. Yeah. Going into the studio and actually singing about things that, it, you know, happened so to me. Yeah, it was really tough. And mm. this one song um, called Dreamer, it's very, very emotional. And so when I was recording it, I was like, I have to take so many. I take five. Yeah. <laughs> I took a lot of take fives yeah. <laughs> that day. Yeah. But at least yeah. that, that, that way mm. you're really feeling it and it's as real as possible. That's like, right. And That's people right. will respond to that. That's the thing. Yeah. And I think that, the you know, people are clever and, and mm. the public is so smart, yeah. especially these days. And I think that they respond to, to authenticity and realness. And Definitely. I think that that's why I really wanted to give them that because, you know, especially for people that have followed me for so yes. long, yeah. Yeah. they deserve to be led in to that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but yeah. They just want to know everything about you. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> but going back and you did get signed at 15 yeah. how, and I'm sure you've spent a lot of time reflecting on that point to now. Yes. How much have you changed and how, how much has the industry changed you in – Ways you, yeah. Yeah, didn't yeah. even know. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm like, how long do you have? Where do yeah. I begin? <laughs> <laughs> well, in a nutshell, I think that, um, you know, the industry is so tough because mm. I think – I think why it's so tough is because you put yourself completely out, out there, there yeah. right? And so you're like, here I am yeah. doing my best I hope and you like me. I hope you like me. Yeah. And a lot of the time people feel very confident to tell you they don't. Yeah, that's And I right. think that oh. that's why it's so hard because you're putting yourself out there so you know that's coming. Yeah. Um, but but it's never easy. Criticism no, is no, never no, easy. No. And, and I think especially if it's not constructive criticism. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's yeah. quite tough to take. So you have to build up such a, um, you know, wall, I think. Mm. And, and that's in, that's bad too. Of course. Because yeah. then yeah. you become a little bit introverted and mm. you be, you become um, someone who's in your own kind of little yeah. box. Yeah. But I think we do that to protect ourselves. Yeah. But I've noticed that I've done that a little bit and, and it's hard to trust people and yeah. all of those of things. Course. So I think that you keep your circle really small yeah. and, and you learn to do that. Mm. Um, but you also learn to to not just be a yes person. Because yeah. I think in the beginning you're just kind of like, yeah, sure. Mm. Oh, that'll mean I'll make it. I can it. do anything mm. you want. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got to go, hang on a second. Ugh. What's my life really worth? Yeah, you know? of course. So, yeah, there's so many lessons you learn along the way. Yeah. And, it and sucks from to, 15, yeah, like amazing. Yeah. To, oh, my God, I know. <laughs> it's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not yeah. that long ago. No, but yeah, no, years, you have years. been in it a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, that is so young to start out, but you it obviously is. really wanted it. It was your dream. Yeah, yeah, it was my dream. And I think, you know, I, I was lucky. My parents came with me. Great. So when I moved to LA, yeah. I had my mum, my dad, and my brothers. Oh, and well, so wow. that's the only reason I was allowed to go. Yes. My mum was like, you're not going, going to go on LA. Your own. You're yeah. my baby. <laughs> Absolutely. So mm. that's the only reason I survived it, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's sure. important. That's yeah. so important. And then it must be so hard when you're having to build up that thick skin against what people are saying about you but then you're writing these really vulnerable songs where you've got to kind of put it all out there it must feel very very strange going back and forth it really is and you know what because I remember um when we were writing that dreamer song Mm. we had to go into those moments and I was kind of talking about when I walked into this label so Mm. years ago and I was um I had been signed I had been dropped and then I was trying to get another deal yeah. and I walked in and the guy you know said to me oh I love this music and mm. you're great oh you look great and mm. you know I've always loved your voice I've followed you forever and I was like oh great yeah. and I thought the meeting was going really really well and I was like oh amazing this is it this I'm is in it. <laughs> yeah of course. I honestly thought that yeah and then he goes in closing he goes um but your tone <laughs> it's not a star tone it's not memorable oh, he's like you're oh. a good singer but you don't have the memorable thing about your voice so we're oh. gonna pass <gasps> My heart, I know, and That's they crushing. just and he just said it to me like he was saying, "Don't love your top." Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> it was like something you could easily change. Yeah. Like, yeah. well, I can get another top, yeah. but I was yeah. like. I can't get another voice yeah. and it, it broke me and that's when I actually decided to move home because yeah. I was like, yeah. wow, I don't need this. Oh, that's hardcore. Mm, yeah. yeah, but that's one person's opinion but in the moment you're like, that's everything. That's my whole yeah, life. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> how, how, yeah. yeah. How do you pick up, pick yourself back up? 
you know, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough because as much as you're like, you know, sticks and stones, you know, all yeah. of that stuff, it, it does hurt you. And and you do sit there, especially when you're in a vulnerable state already, mm. Mm. those words cut you and you replay mm. them. Yes. Um, we only listen. I mean, it's hard yes. to listen to the great things. We forget about those as soon as one bad thing is said. That's yeah. so right. And yeah. that's something, that's a lesson I yeah. really learned. Good, good. Um from these moments mm. but I think I just uh called my mum and yeah. my dad and I yes. was like this is what this really yeah. mean man said yeah. <laughs> even though I was like 21 yeah. and um and I remember my dad saying that's one person's opinion mm. don't give that person so much power mm. that's right like, that's yeah. true yeah. that's for really sure. important yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. and did you feel like it was the right choice for you when you came back to I Australia did. I yeah. did I was like I need Australians mm. yeah I need realness mm. get me yep. back to realness LA is too at that point in, yeah. in that time of my life too mm. fake for me mm. and I needed just my people, yeah. you know, yeah. and when I I literally, I remember I booked a flight and two weeks later I was on a plane mm. and I was home and I remember seeing that welcome to Perth sign ah, yes. and my Aww. eyes were like, oh, I just filled up with tears because I had felt like I was like, so far away, I'm back, yeah. I'm back to yeah. realness. Yeah. Breathe again. Yeah. Moving to LA and being away from your family, I know they yeah. were there initially, but yeah. that sort of started the whole your jo- life not being yeah. near them. Exactly. Because now you're here, right? In That's Sydney, right. And they're there. Yeah, yeah. And it's really hard because they moved back when I was about yeah twenty. Yeah. Um. They they stayed there for about five years. Yeah. So wow. yeah. Now I live in Sydney and they're in Perth, and it's yeah. so hard because we're so close because we've obviously been through so much Definitely. together at this yeah. point. Of course. Um. And my puppies. I've got <laughs> two puppies in Perth that I miss <laughs> desperately. Like, yeah. oh, it's so hard. It's mm. really hard. But you feel like your life's here. I do. Yeah. I think, you know, now I've settled in Sydney and it's only yeah. a five-hour yeah. plane ride. It's yeah. better than the 21 hours it was, it was for, to LA. <laughs> to yeah. LA. Mm. So five hours is doable. But I go home all the time. Yeah. As soon as I have a free weekend, I book my flight to Perth. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So family is so important. Very. Don't you just wish Perth was a little bit yeah. closer? Yes. <laughs> Every time I'm on that plane, I'm like, no. Come yeah. on. Not oh again. Gosh, it's so long. Although if mm. you're into a TV show, so yes. It's the best thing ever. Yes, because then you get like nearly a season down. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true. right. What yeah. are you What are you loving at the moment? Yeah. What are you watching? Oh my gosh! Are you I... talking about TV all day? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just finished Younger. <gasps> Great. Yes. I love Younger. Love it. Yes. So much. So do I. <laughs> so I don't know who I like more, Josh or Charles. It's I'm too really... hard to pick. I'm Team Josh. Team oh. Josh. Are oh, you Team, team Josh? Josh. Yeah. What are Very you? Very controversial. I don't. I change my mind all the time. Yeah. yeah same. Same. Oh, Charles is so nice, but then again, so is Josh. I know. Um. Yes. So younger, yep. and I am halfway through Handmaid's Tale. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's too dark for me. I, I, I can only do one dark. ep at a time. That's yeah. why I haven't finished yeah. it. Yeah, it's yeah. too much. Too much yeah. to dig into. Um, and Shit's Creek. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've heard that's really yeah. good. Oh, I have it so downloaded. Funny. I haven't watched it. Yeah, yet. I need to it get into that. Hilarious. Okay. So funny. Okay. I've finished that now, too, though. <laughs> I've got nothing else to watch. <laughs> mm. I'll give you some recommendations when we're done to here. Perth, like, yes. I, I watched a whole season. You can. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You really can. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Love um, it. And so with the album coming out, so the yes. single drops September 20 tomorrow. Yeah. When's the album out? The album, I think next year. We don't okay. have an exact date because okay. we're not finished Okay, it. Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> but okay. next year. Yeah. 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 And then what do you plan to do next year with that? A tour? Well, <laughs> definitely a tour. Yeah. I think, you know, touring is is the best thing for, um, for any artist because you yeah. get to play your music mm. live and yeah. that's just yeah. the most fun. Mm. And... Um, we did a little tour last year mm. and it was my first headlining tour. <gasps> yes. And it was just honestly like every single night before I went out, mm. I was like, I would nearly start crying because I would see people and I'd be like, Aww. those people are here to watch my show. That's like, I, amazing. I couldn't get past it. It yeah. was unbelievable. Mm. So um, I can't wait to do a tour again. Yeah. yeah. It's, my, it's my favourite thing to do. Because you have yeah, awesome. um, you said it was a, your first headline yeah. tour, but you yeah. supported a lot of really big bands like yes. One Direction. And, yes. I mean, yes. so many. Yes. So what, yes. were, what were those days like? Oh, <laughs> my God. I will be honest. So the One Direction tour, yeah. that was up. <laughs> I can't, where do I start? (laughs) First of all, when they told me One Direction I was going to be touring, I was like, okay, that is the biggest thing ever. Because this was, you know, when they were really, really huge. Yes. And um, they had told me, I think, in December, and we started the tour in um, January, I'm pretty sure. So we had like like only like six weeks to prepare. Or or even a month to prepare. 
gosh. Yeah, so we like got in the studio straight away and mm. were making show tracks and mm. doing the choreography and getting mm. the outfits mm. and all of that. Mm. And then when I um, – I remember the first day, so me and my best friend who choreographed at the time yeah. oh, cool. were driving to the show. Yes. And – it was the first time, I mean, two girls, yeah. you can imagine. <laughs> yeah. So much, my poor brothers. They're like, oh, my gosh, my brother was my PA at the time. He just couldn't get a word in. It was the first time we were absolutely silent in yeah. the car. We oh. did not say one thing. That's when you know you're like, oh, my God. You're nervous. <laughs> nervous. I can't yeah. even get the words out. It's going to be the yeah. biggest thing ever. I, yeah. did not, I, I didn't know what to even say. I was yes. like, and so was she. <laughs> and then when we got there and we got out of the car, mm. she was like, we didn't speak we didn't speak for half an hour. Yeah. I think that's a record. I was yeah. like, that's a record for sure. <laughs> and then we got out of the car and I remember walking, you know, to get my in-ears um, yes. in. Yep. And and I saw the the state because it was they were outdoor stadiums. It was huge. Huge. Insane. Insane. Huge. Huge. And to be honest, the first show was not great. Like we, we forgot <laughs> a lot. We were really nervous. I was like fumbling my words. I was just Aww. so nervous. And there wasn't that many um, girls there yet because okay. we, they put us on quite early. Yep. Anyway, by the second show, we figured out we should go a bit half an hour later. Uh uh But I had to figure out how to speak to the girls because they're a boy band. Yeah. That's it. And they are fans. Hardcore fans. I'm surprised you escaped with your hearing because I've been to a Harry Styles concert and (laughs) it's a sound I've never heard before. Mm. It's an octave I've never heard before. Totally. Totally. And they love these boys. Oh, so much. It is next level. Yeah. But I, I, um, yeah, I was pretty nervous for my life at one point because a lot of them were like, oh, we hate you. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering, were they coming after you? Yeah. I had a lot of hate. But I started to learn because I was like, oh my gosh, hang on. No, no, no. That's not, that's not what this is about. That's not what this is about. Like at all. So I, I would start saying to them at the shows, (laughs) let's show the guys why Australian girls are the best girls. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and they, then they started to understand, oh, okay, she's She's on our our side. So I was like, these boys are like my brother's age. Like, no, it's not like that at all. Yeah. (laughs) No, 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 no. It's not what I'm here for. You don't have to come after me. No, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in them. It's all good. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) But it was amazing. What a time. Yeah, it was very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And playing stadiums like that, I mean, Mm. that is just next level. Yeah. Crazy. (gasps) Is there something you look back on and feel like that was – that's been my highlight so yeah. far. Because you've done so yeah. many things. I know. Like, you've yeah. been nominated for a Loki. Yeah, playing Kylie Minogue. Yeah, yeah. you've played Kylie. Home and away. So oh, many things. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Th- yeah. Look, I've been so lucky and there has been so many incredible moments. Mm. I think like before my X Factor career kind oh, of yeah. happened, yeah. I um one of my highlights was I was in – New Jersey and I was kind of like out of a deal and and I get this call from this guy Billy Mann mm. who had signed Katy Perry mm. re-signed Katy Perry because she had the same kind of mm-hmm. story yeah and um and he called me and said come to my place in New Jersey I want you to come over and write with me and I was like okay cool, cool great and I mm. knew him he was a great writer mm. he's written a lot of the stuff for Pink mm. and then he said to me I've got this DJ his name's David Getter. <laughs> and yeah, and I I want to write with him because I think we should be doing a record of his music, like kind of DJ stuff with mm. pop vocals. And I was like, what a great idea! Yeah. He goes, yeah, Kelly Rollins on it and Usher's on it. So this was the first album. Oh, wow. So I went to his house and David, um, Billy, and myself mm. wrote for two days. Oh, it was really so cool. cool. And I think back to that now because yes. then just after that, David Guetta was like, Phew, yes, you know, that name became <laughs> what it is. Yeah. yeah. And I remember it was crazy and he was like, actually, before you come, go meet him at one of his shows in L.A. Mm. So I just went to his show in L.A. backstage, <laughs> like was standing up there with him in the DJ booth. Yeah. I think about that now and I'm like, wow, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's so crazy. But he was kind of up and coming at yeah. the time. Like he was huge in the dance world but mm. not in the pop world. Yeah. Wow. So that was a massive highlight. Very, That was yeah. a very cool moment. I love when there's moments like that where you don't realise yes. how amazing it was yes. until later and until you're yeah. like, oh, back. that was cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. I knew yeah. them when or whatever. Yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Of course, yeah. So with touring and the, I mean, there's yeah. so much energy you have to put out and yeah. you're giving so much of yourself, even through the writing process. Yeah. How do you, can you disconnect? Like, especially when you're writing and touring, like, yeah. is it easy for you to just switch off and unwind or are you always, can you shut your mind off? It's, uh, oh, it is hard. Yeah. I think you have to learn how to do that through time yeah. and mm. experience. Yeah. But, um, the stu- I find it really hard 
after the studio mm. to not be in those places, especially if you have written a sad song. If you've yeah. written an up-tempo song, you're like, you're like let's get go me out. Out. Let's go out. Yeah. Totally. And you're in this great mood. Yeah. But if you have written a ballad or something sad, mm. it is hard to get out of that place. Okay. Um, and especially after I perform. Because mm. after I perform and say I do a club gig right yeah. at like 1am, oh. mm. I come home, I'm exhausted, but I'm buzzing. Yes. It's a really funny feeling. It's I mean, not that I'm a thing. performer, but. Yeah, so I just like, <laughs> no, in this. my experience. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. No, but yeah. yeah, it's that yeah. thing where you're like, I can't shut off. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, so I've learned, and this is this might sound so yeah. like small, but <gasps> chamomile tea. Oh works great yeah. it great. works i'm like i need a camera Simple. i need to sit down without my phone yeah because that's stimulating yes and yeah. i just do this breathing exercise where awesome. i take um a deep breath in for seven seconds yep. Yep. and then hold it for four and then out for eight yeah and i do that four times yep. and that relaxes Brings my um mind and body yeah. yeah and i found that actually really works those two little things amazing yeah that's good. Well, it sounds tips. like you're going to need a lot of that yeah. in the next year. I know, seriously. Yeah. Oh. I'm be breathing all the time, doing yeah. my deep breaths. Yeah. As exciting as it is, it must be pretty overwhelming as well. You're yeah. Because like, I'm sure you're a perfectionist and you want to get it bang on. Yeah, so. you want it right. Yeah. And I think as well, like, you know, you give your life up to this, you know, totally. like this is what I do and I – I don't want to turn around now and start a new career. No. So it's everything to me, you mm, know. Yeah. So it's a lot of pressure too because yeah. if it doesn't do well, you're kind of it's, like, oh. So it's all you – not all attached. you are, but that's it is. what you've invested your whole you – for however long, yeah. Exactly. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it's oh. tough. Well, well, it sounds like so much exciting stuff yeah. coming oh, up. That's which fantastic. Is great. Yeah, fantastic. very nice. excited to be hearing a lot more of you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good, so good. So thank, thank you for coming in to join us. Thanks for having me. Thank you. You're welcome back anytime. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's finish things up yes. with our must see, celebrity must see of the week. Yes. Uh, I have two this week. You do. <laughs> and I'm kind of just piggybacking off one of yours being a yeah. lazy person. That no, I am. that's not. So. That's not. If, yeah. Anyway, we'll get, we'll, we'll, yeah, it will make we'll sense soon. That. So, first, I've started reading a book called Normal People by Sally Rooney. Thank you for finally getting on the bandwagon. I know. The book has been sitting on my bedside table for maybe a year yeah a uh, yeah. long time long time and I was on a plane from Perth back to Sydney and I thought now's the time let's crack this one open yeah and I probably read half the book on the flight yes. on the flight it's so good with some um red wine and uh Troy Sivan who I'll get to soon in my <laughs> ears and I'm obsessed I love it so much yeah it's a great great book um yeah she Sally Rooney was known for her first book yes. Conversations with Friends yeah I'm gonna read I that next I have not read that okay. that's next on my list I'll read too. That we'll read it together we we'll do a mini book club <laughs> cute um and but yeah this is it's so good yeah. so if you haven't read it it's a book about basically a relationship between friends they maybe become lovers etc yeah. but they're very complicated it's not very straightforward and simple yeah. and easy and it's hard at times to read and it gets a bit dark but it also is beautiful yeah. and so well written and just really really nice yeah um so if you like that <laughs> check it out definitely check it out but i've had so now, many comments yeah. the book's been on my desk for yesterday and today and i've had so many people bring it up with me so i mean i'm really late to the party as you've said <laughs> <laughs> but i'm happy to have joined yes um very now, late. go on and gloat with your other celebrity yeah. must see so, this week i just said i was listening to troy savan on my flight because i was in perth to see him perform at yes. a really intimate performance a uh, little uh, thing he did it, with to do with a loft hotels it's a chain of hotels that's international we only have one in perth in australia but more are coming yeah. <laughs> <If you're>, anyway <laughs> knows the whole history of i can loft tell you so now. many things about the hotel <laughs> but troy performed and obviously he's an australian singer yeah. he now lives in america and but he he is a perth boy at heart and he did say he wishes he could live back at home yeah. uh, which was really sweet That's and touching nice. but he's so great i mean if you haven't listened to any of his stuff or watched anything of his on youtube he used to be a youtube star that's how kind of he was discovered yeah. but he's done like his beauty routine with vogue and whatever like his skincare with mahaba's bazaar like he, he truly he, is yeah. the most beautiful human I've i know ever seen. He's, he's gorgeous so gorgeous he did the vogue is it 73 questions yes, yes. Yeah, yeah that was that's definitely you got yeah, to watch that so basically anything he does you have to watch or listen to or whatever you can get your hands on but his latest album bloom is really great and yeah. he's just such a lovely lovely boy 
Mum well, obsessed yeah. with him. Yeah. Must see. <laughs> well, that's all we have time for today. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. It really does mean a lot to us. Yeah. So if you like it, um, yeah. please do leave us a five-star review. Yeah. I mean, we'll accept a four. We prefer a <laughs> five. Um, yeah. And, um, yeah, just let us know what you think and what you want us to be chatting more about on the podcast That'd each be week. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right. And until next week, yeah. see you later. Bye. Bye. Profitez d'un son remarquable à votre mesure avec Sonos. Regardez un film dans votre salon, écoutez un podcast dans votre chambre ou de la musique dans votre cuisine. Vous pouvez aussi emmener votre musique avec vous dans votre jardin. Écoutez ce que vous voulez, où vous voulez, comme vous voulez, avec le système audio Sonos qui vous ressemble. Pour en savoir plus, rendez-vous sur sonos.com.